we have, as usual, 72 booths because this is a fixed number of booths that we've been able to uh, have inside the drill hall for quite a number of years. The good thing is that every single year we have a different number of people who are exhibiting. We have different artists who are being seen. We have half of the booths uh, as one person solo exhibitions. The other half are thematic shows that could be two person presentations like what we've done in our booth or they could be uh, multiple artists. Or it could be a theme like Pavel Zubak who has a show of all women artists making collage. This is the second year where we've paired an artist from Eleven Rivington, which is our gallery on the Lower East Side, with an artist from Van Doren Waxter. We um, thought about these two in particular because of their approach to the figure. They both work from models who are familiar to them. Um, in the case of Geronimo, these are family and friends and sometimes himself. In the case of Diebenkorn, models that he used repeatedly, and both of them work in areas that are familiar surroundings, whether it's the studio or the home. I think they're both interesting because it's not just the figure, it's what's around the figure that makes the presentation very compelling. I think in general people have dug very deeply to either bring something that's really special and something that uh, people wouldn't see on the market necessarily. We were um, kind of pleased and surprised when we saw Carl Solway's application with Anne and it made a lot of sense since she had made, you know, here in the drill hall, made a huge installation that was I think about a year ago. And then having him apply with her for a booth, it seemed like, wow, this would be a great follow-up to, you know, what we had seen a year ago. When Carlo and I started the conversation about this booth, we thought about how to kind of return here in some ways, but also bring a process that was still going to bring a process of making into this context of the fair. I had been working on a project in Pittsburgh, which was called Factory Direct. And from that project, I'd worked with Bear Material Sciences, and they had given me this material called Duraflex or Texan. During that process, we also started to take portraits, and it was the taking of the portrait that became very interesting, because when you stand behind the material, um, you can hear, but you can't see. Even though you know your picture's being taken, there's this other relationship that occurs. It's maybe one of trust for every one who is photographed, we're also printing like an ephemera print and we're trying to accumulate those on the wall. So this is the process that's going on here. I think it's very intimate, you know, it's very private. It's not like, um, you know, like a big visceral immersion or something which is a possible in another kind of installation, but it's trying to bring those same relationships forward in another form. We're always looking for the diversity within the applications and that reflects on the association. The range of beginning with 19th century works going to um, American and European modernism on through to contemporary in a lot of different mediums in what is a very manageable scale with this particular show I think keeps it fresh and I think that this is really key and uh, we just have a great advantage in that respect. Mm -hmm.